Welcome to Abhipedia QChat discussion. Today we will discuss question from international affair and question is elucidate India's concern regarding Nepal's new constitution also highlight importance of Nepal as a buffer state between India and China. So sir I think we firstly have to take the first part of the question and which is India's concern regarding Nepal's new constitution. What is this? What is the context of this first statement? Why this is asked? See, uh, Nepal was a monarchy till 2008 okay. and now it is, uh, it is trying to transform itself into a democracy. Okay. Now the problem that is arising is that for a democratic nation you need a constitution. Okay. To frame a constitution you need presence of participation of all ethnic communities in your country. Mm -hmm. Now Nepal when it framed its new constitution okay. lately. Mm -hmm. It did not give representation to all uh, segments of ethnic communities okay. living on its territory, especially, especially the Madesis. Yes, so these Madesis are people of Indian origin okay. who long back migrated to Nepal and since long have been living in the Tarai region. The Tarai region because Shivaliks are absent in Nepal. And can also be linked the trade relation between the Indians on the one side and the Nepalis on the other side which are Madhesis. Yes, yeah, certainly. Okay. So Madhesis uh, contribute as a significant uh, part of uh, Nepal. Mm -hmm. But uh, when Nepal formulated its new constitution, okay. it gave them, it did give them representation, mm -hmm. but not in proportion to their population. Mm -hmm. So Madhesis want that they should get representation in parliament mm -hmm as per their proportion in total population okay. in Nepal. Okay. So when in, in 2014 when Modi ji was elected as the Prime Minister of India mm -hmm. and he visited Nepal, mm -hmm. he was categor categorically, uh, he categorically stated that India will not be interfering in Nepali constitution making framework okay. but it would be beneficial for both countries and regional stability if mm -hmm. Nepal gives representation to all different segments of ethnic communities residing on its territory. But isn't uh, India is harming the sovereignty of Nepal? India is not harming the uh, sovereignty of Nepal mm -hmm. and it is no way interfering in its domestic affairs but has just voiced its concerns that if Nepal is to remain peaceful and in future not become a battleground for civil war. Mm -hmm. And what about the supply of oil which was which was stopped by the India Indian government? So isn't it the, affecting the relation between both the nations? Uh, Indian government did not stop that supply. Okay. Uh, it was actually the Madesis okay. living in the Tarai region mm -hmm. because to get to Nepal you have to first cross the Tarai region of Nepal okay. where Madesis are residing. Okay. So the Madesis uh, as a protest mm -hmm. uh, blocked the highways there. Okay. So Indian government could not uh, the trucks could not transit to Nepal but and, but Nepal government accused India mm. of uh, instigating this uh, violence, the Madi, by violence by Madesis. So this is the issue. And what is the current situation between India and Nepal? Uh, Nepalese, uh, India is urging Nepal mm -hmm. that to, in order to be a true democratic state, okay. you need to give representation to all different segments of population there. Mm -hmm. And Modi ji said that uh, to Nepal Premier, Prime Minister, that ek aisa guldasta banaiye, jisme har chote phool ki mehak hai. Okay. So India has made its stance clear to Nepal. Okay. And what about the second part of the question, which uh, which is highlight the importance of Nepal as a buffer state between India and China. So I think first is the geographical barrier between India and China. Nepal is the geographical barrier between India and China. Yes. And what about the other factors? Nepal is a Himalayan kingdom yes. mm -hmm. and uh, its borders with China run along lofty peaks mm -hmm. which are very difficult to uh, access from China, Chinese side of Indochina, uh, Nepal-China border. Okay. So this is how geographically Nepal forms the border mm -hmm. acts as a buffer state between India and China. And what about the po political linkage between India and Nepal? Is it also acting as a buffer state between India and China? If we are to maintain good relations with Nepal, okay. we need to exercise a soft power, uh, uh, soft power strategy approaches, mm -hmm. alternatives, mm -hmm. very uh, judiciously. Okay. For that, we need to maintain good relations with Nepal as well as win over the confidence of Nepali people. Mm -hmm. For instance, 
Nepali Gorkhas mm-hmm. have their own regiment in Indian Army. Yes. And over the years, so many Gorkhas have served in Indian Army mm-hmm. and have retired and gone back to Nepal. Mm-hmm. Now they are dis- uh, drawing their pensions from Indian Army. Okay. Now this in turn creates goodwill amongst Nepali people towards Indians. Okay. So this is how Nepal, mm-hmm. if it remains economically inclined towards India mm-hmm. and India fulfills its needs, mm-hmm. it will continue to remain and act as a buffer state. Okay. But then there are other issues also. Mm-hmm. For example, Nepal, Indian, uh, the border is porous between India and Nepal. Mm-hmm. Now China has been using this porous border mm-hmm. to apportion uh, uh, terrorists mm-hmm. to help Naxals and to carry out a subversive propaganda on the Nepali border. So I think the current demonetization also hampered this particular illicit trade. Yes, Nepalis recently uh, refused to accept the new, new currency. currency notes yes. as a de facto mm-hmm. exchange system. Okay. So th- this has aggravated a uh, little, uh, created some rift between India and Nepal. Mm-hmm. But uh, since Nepal is difficult to access from their Chinese uh, border, mm-hmm. it continues to remain a natural partner of India. Okay. So I think we should continue here. Certainly. Okay. Thank you.